Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Del Monte bubble fruit. This was sent to us from Matthew, so thank you very, very much to Matthew. This is the pear berry pomegranate, the peach strawberry lemonade. I have sour apple watermelon. It says, we've added popping boba to our tasty fruit cup snacks for an unexpected burst of flavor. Popular in bubble tea and frozen yogurt shops, popping boba burst and release a blast of fruit flavor when you bite them. Our juicy pears are grown in the best orchards, producing fruit that is sweet and succulent. It's a way to add a little sweetness to your day. So they're kind of like those little, uh, almost rubbery feeling little balls. Yes, yes, that, that, that is a thing. It's a whole thing. Uh, Gluten-free, uh, four servings in the container. One cup is 50 calories. That smells good. So I got a, I got a spoon for this. Um, I'm just thinking, because if you want to eat that juice, you have to have a spoon, not a fork. Because normally, if you eat fruit, you probably stab it with a fork, but... Oh, I see, oh, I see the bubble. Did you not get a bubble? I don't know if I did or not. I'll get... I'll try one. They're... they're clear. Or, yeah, they're, they're like little clear balls. I'll reserve my opinion for the other ones, but so far... That bubble part is a gimmick to me because, because it blends right in with that fruit. It has no different texture than the fruit. It's just like they took the juice that's already in there and just put it in a bubble. You cannot tell the difference. You cannot differentiate in your mouth which is the fruit and which is the bubble. No. So that is a total just marketing ploy. Um, so Because we'll when you have the juice from all that... Now, if you didn't get any juice at all and you just got a bubble, it does have the same, but it has this exact same flavor as the liquid in there. So mm -hmm. it's not like it's a, it says it's a burst of fruit. It's not like a, yeah, just try the bubble. I was just by want, oh, I was just oh. going to try, I would just try the juice. Um, cause I just tried a bubble by itself with no really juice or like anything. Cause I really like the flavor. Um, and, and it tastes just like the juice. I mean, it's just the juice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, it's it's good. I love the um, yeah. There's nothing the, wrong with it. I love the flavor, the pear berry pomegranate. Um, but and actually, that bubble when you eat it, I, I don't care for it now that I've eaten it by itself. I fun. wondered if that was what that was when I ate it with the fruit. There was a something left in my mouth. It felt like a peel. Yeah, that's what it feels like. It's that bubble, because yeah. I ate one by itself, and guess what? That bubble pops, and now it's stuck to the roof of my mouth. It feels, it Mine feels, dissolved, so. It feels like a little piece of plastic, and it, it, uh, it, I had it before when I took a bite, and I thought, is it the fruit? No, it's that bubble. Yeah. It is literally like stuck uh, itself to the roof of my mouth, and it's driving me crazy. Mine didn't stick, mine dissolved, but. Well, it will, especially if you take your tongue and you fool with it for a while. But you, but, but it's annoying. I, I, honestly, I, from just that one cup, I'd rather just have the regular cup of fruit. Yeah. I love the flavor of that. It'd be um, different if it had a burst of different flavor to it, but it really doesn't. If it added anything, but it doesn't add anything. It adds absolutely nothing except this is a selling uh, something to get you to buy it. Uh, this is the peach strawberry lemonade, and it's 50 calories. These are all 50 calories a cup. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure I get some bubbles. Look. Oh yeah, it's annoying. It's like a little piece of plastic. It doesn't dissolve very fast. Mm -mm. I do not like that lemonade in there. I don't like the bubbles. I just don't like that. Oh, I don't like the flavor of that one, period. I'm literally left with all those pieces on the roof of my mouth yeah. and I hate it. I don't like the flavor of that one just because of the lemonade. I like the flavor of that. I, I don't I, um, like the lemonade with the uh, peach. I really like canned peaches. Um, I think that is a, a good flavor, but I like the first one, the pomegranate, much, much, much better. better. And it was sweeter. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't like that, that burst of the tart lemonade kind of I just peeled that off the roof of my mouth with my tongue, and then you can literally chew it between your teeth. Yeah, oh yeah. It's and it's not, it's, it's not the fruit. It's definitely that bubble. Oh yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, this 
This one's a little scared. Sour. That's why we're trying it last. <laughs> <laughs> Sour apple watermelon. Uh, apples and popping bobo with sweetened juice. So these are apples? Mm-hmm. Hmm. It says apple. It's it's called watermelon, but it says apples and popping boba. I actually like that much, but it's not really sour. Mm -hmm. I was expecting it like, to be really tart. It's not. Um, I actually like that one probably the best. That tastes like um, tastes like candy. That's very very good. That that's got a really good flavor. Mm -hmm. I do agree with you, hundred percent. Those bubbles are a gimmick. There's nothing. It's in there. my teeth. There's nothing they're adding to it. It's mm -hmm. not like there's a different flavor from those. Mm -hmm. um, they could put that exact same thing. If I could pick out every one of those bubbles without doing anything with it and throw them away, it wouldn't taste any different. No, no, they're, they add nothing to. No. If anything, they add an annoyance to the experience. They Especially make, for you. Now they've never gotten stuck anywhere in my mouth. They've I've always, got one in my tooth right yeah. now. In my upper tooth, I've got instead of sticking to the roof of my mouth, that one went into this tooth and it's there like a, like a a little thin film of plastic. Yeah. Like a it's piece like of a, a piece. shower curtain or something. But it's not plasticky. But it's more of a. It's like a. It's more like a. Um, uh, orange juice um, pulp. Oh. Like the little skin it's around the It's not stringy little, though. I've been talking about the one individual like little pulps have that little sack mm. of like juice. Yeah. You know? It's kind of like that. Yeah. It's just, I don't like the bubbles. I would, I would, if I saw these on the shelf and right next to it they had the exact same flavors. Without the bubbles. Without the bubbles. I would buy it without the bubbles. Mm. I would never choose these bubbles. I think it's, they're annoying as can be. Yeah. But um, I love the flavor of that apple. And, and I really did like the flavor of the, the pomegranate, pomegranate one For too. Me, the bears. I know Kevin's number one was watermelon. That's going to be my number two. My number one's going to be the pom the pomegranate. I love that. So if they had that in just the regular cups, I would totally be willing to get it. And that is a very low calorie snack, mm -hmm. fifty calories. Yeah, I used to eat these uh, the the um, constantly the mixed fruit ones all the time. Yeah, but now these. Anytime I open one of these. I'm going to pick those bubbles out. That's how much I don't like that or addition. Avoid them. <laughs> I don't avoid them, yeah, because they just, to me, they are a total annoyance. Mm -hmm. I got one in my teeth. And I know I'm going to have a lot of people in the comments disagreeing with me. That's fine. You're, you're allowed to disagree with me. That's just my personal opinion. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to Matthew for sending us these. We wouldn't have tried them if you hadn't have sent them, so I appreciate it. And thanks for watching.